Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? I'm going to read Where's My Teddy by Jez Alborough as our first book today. Eddie's off to find his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. He lost him in the woods somewhere. It's dark and horrible in there. Help, said Eddie. I'm scared already. I want my bed. I want my teddy. He tiptoed on and on until something made him stop quite still. Look out, he thought, there's something there. What's that? A giant teddy bear. Is it Freddy, said Eddie. What a surprise, how did you get to be this size? You're too big to huddle and cuddle, he said, and I'll never fit both of us into my bed. Then out of the darkness, clearer and clearer, the sound of sobbing came nearer and nearer. Soon the whole woods could hear the voice bawl. How did you get to be so small and tiny? You're too small to huddle and cuddle, it said, and you'll only get lost in my giant-sized bed. Eddie hiding behind the giant teddy. It was a gigantic bear and a tiny teddy stomping toward the giant teddy and Eddie. My Ted, gasped the bear. A bear, screamed Eddie. A boy, yelled the bear. My Teddy, cried Eddie. Then they ran and they ran through the dark woods back to their homes as fast as they could. All the way back to their snuggly beds where they cuddled and huddled with their own little Teds. The bear in his big bed and Eddie in his little bed. The end. That's a good one. All right. The next one is called The Fearless Octopus by Charlotte Christie and Marcella Caldron. I live in the ocean. My name is Odell, and I have a story that I'd like to tell. So snuggle up tight and listen to me. I'll tell you a tale from the depths of the sea. One day, I was strolling along the seabed when a terrible shadow passed over my head. See the shadow? The beautiful day was suddenly dark and I thought I saw fins and big teeth like a shark. I can move speedily by squirting out water. It makes me go faster than I really ought to. So off I zoomed quickly, much faster than fast, but the shark kept beside me. I couldn't get past. As well as quick travel, I'm good at disguises. I like to hide under rocks and give fish surprises. I can change my color and hide in plain view, but the shark wasn't fooled. Oh, what could I do? I hid under a rock. I climbed inside a shell. I covered my eyes. I cried, I'm not Odell. But no matter how hard I tried to escape, the shark just looked on a big menacing shape. So finally, warily, and going so slow, I swam up to the shark. I just had to know if he wanted to eat me or whether he'd spare me. I knew I must ask him, although he had scared me. I got closer and closer. He seemed bigger and bigger, but his fin looked quite strange, and I just couldn't figure. Where were his big teeth? Where had they gone? Why was his belly black? What is that worrying thing? And are those men on his back? And as I crept closer, it all became clear. It wasn't a shark. I had nothing to fear. It was a boat with some sailors who were waving at me. And I was safe after all in this nice bit of sea. I waved back at the sailors and jetted away, carefree and happy for the rest of the day. I splashed and I played and I danced with a clam. I laughed and I shouted, how clever I am. If I'd been too nervous to swim up to that shark, I'd still be alone, being scared in the dark. But instead, I'm here playing, so please do take note. Be brave, because sometimes a shark's just a boat. That was good. It was the end. It was the end of that one. So I will be back, and I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Have a good day, and have fun.